Hello everyone, it's Cash here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make ragdoll deaths in Roblox Studio. So, let's get started. First things first, create a script under starter character scripts. Call this ragdoll death. And now we can create a variable for the character. So it's going to be script.parent, because this loads with starter character scripts. And starter character scripts always load under the character. So then we can do local humanoid equals character, wait for child humanoid. And then we can do humanoid dot died connect function. And now what this does is whenever the humanoid dies or the player dies, then it just does whatever's in this function. Okay? So then we can get the joints of the character. So local joints equals character, get descendants. And then we can do for equals instance.new and then ball socket constraint and then local attachment zero equals instance.new attachment and then local a1 equals instance.new attachment. Okay? And then we can just do socket dot attachment zero equals a zero socket dot attachment one equals a1 and now we can change these to the actual parents that they're supposed to be so a0 dot parent equals to joint dot part zero and then a0 or a1 dot parent equals joint dot part one okay and then we can also adjust the c-frame so they match with the original ones so a0 dot c-frame equals joint dot c0 and then a1.cframe equals joint.c1. Okay. And we can also uh, make sure that limits are enabled. So socket.limits enabled equals to true. This, you always want to have this on on ropes or whatever uh, you have that's like a uh, rope constraint or whatever a constraint that you want it to be. So, like, even if you're using constra uh, any constraint here, like hinge constraints. Uh, rope constraints, spring constraints, anything. You always want to have limits enabled equals to true. Okay? And then we can also do socket.twist limits enabled equals to true. And then finally, all we have to do here is change the humanoid dot break joints on death to false. So if we go ahead and press play and we reset our character, as you can see, our joints lock up. And there is a reason for this. So, as you can see, it creates a new attachment. And I forgot, I knew I was forgetting something, but make sure you destroy the original joint. And I think I also forgot to parent the socket. So, let's make sure we do that. So, socket.parent equals to joint.parent. And now, finally, and we reset our character. As you can see, we ragdoll. So it's pretty funky. Now what you could do is if you don't want your head or anything to ragdoll like that or jump in the air, uh, you could actually just change everything. Uh, like you could do if joint uh, blah 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 and joint dot name is not equal to neck, then. And then we could um, just go ahead and ragdoll. So as you can see, our head isn't freaking out. We're still kind of freaking out, but yeah. Uh, you can do a bunch of other stuff with this. So you can also do like socket, dot, and you can go to any of these. And you can just change a bunch of stuff um, like restitution. This is how elastic it is. So if you want it to be extremely elastic, then you put it at one. And if you don't want it to be elastic, you put it at zero. Uh, now, these are the angles that you could do. So twist lower angle, twist upper angle. We can change these to like, if you only want to twist like 60 degrees or 70 degrees, and then socket to twist upper angle equals to 7 degrees also. And I tried to save that just for a second, but uh, now if we do it, yeah, we're freaking out a lot more, and <laughs> it looks pretty weird. Um, we can also change the restitution. Change that to 1, see what happens. 
you can always just mess around with the settings. And yeah, I'm freaking out over here. Looks pretty funny. So I guess I'm just gonna change these uh, twist lower angle to 